or staying in the National Assembly where the House of Representatives is asking the federal government to suspend implementation of the Samoa Agreement until all controversial clauses are addressed. Now, this is on a day the lawmakers moved to probe the return of fuel scarcity in parts of the country. National Assembly correspondent Joke Adisa reports. On the 28th of June, the federal government signed the Samoa Agreement, but controversies have not stopped trailing the action. A newspaper report claims the partnership agreement and thus the rights of LGBTQ people in the country. The government has denied the claim and threatened to drag the newspaper to court. The agreement tops legislative business in the House of Representatives as 88 members sponsored a motion to compel the government to suspend the implementation of the agreement. They say the controversy surrounding the agreement must be ironed out. Article 2.5. 29.5, 36.2, and Article 88 in the Samoa Agreement that was signed by the federal government may be inimical to the interests of Nigeria as a country. We cannot continue to engage, engage in contrived way of governance. The public has been misled over time about the Samoa Agreement. There is no portion of that agreement that talks about LGBTQ or 150 billion. In another legislative effort, the House is to investigate the return of queues across petrol stations in parts of the country, including Abuja. There is also the allegation of product on our ability to market out from NFPC retail, endless shifting of timelines for refinery rehabilitation, the nefarious activities of petrol depot, which have affected product distribution and cost scarcity. Ordinary 226,000 barrels not available. You also need to find out is the IOC sending to us their domestic crude obligation. And the only person that can help us answer that partly is the NUPRC. The relevant committees are mandated to also probe the alleged unwholesome practices in the sector. A bill seeking to create additional seats for women at the state and national assemblies, sponsored by Deputy Speaker Benjamin Kalu, passed second reading. Members expressed divergent views on the bill before it scaled through. The bill is referred to the Hadda Committee on Constitution Review, chaired by Deputy Speaker, for further legislative action. Jokayadza, TVC News, Abuja.